another words from the god is death comes to all these two i carefully explored even though the action of godly and wise people are in god's hands no one knows what whether god will show them favor the same destiny ultimately awaits every ceremonially clean or unclean Religious or irreligious, good people receive the same treatment as sinners, and people who make promises to God are treated like people who don't. It seems too tragic that everyone under the sun suffers the same fate. That is why people are not more careful to be good. Instead, they choose their own mad course. For they have no hope. There is nothing ahead but death anyway. There is hope only for the living, living as they say. It's better to be a living dog than a dead lion. The living at least know they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, nor are they remembered, whatever they did in their life. Time Loving, hating, envying is all long gone. They no longer play a part in everything here on earth. So go ahead, eat your food with joy, and drink your wine with a happy heart. For God approves of this wine with a happy heart. For God, God approves of this wear fine clothes with a splash of cologne live happily with the woman you love through all the meaningless days of a life that god has given you under the sun the wife god gives you is your reward for all your earthly toil whatever you do well for when you go the grave there will be no work or planning or knowledge or wisdom I have observed something else under the sun. The strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry, and the scalpels are but not necessarily wealthy. Something stuck. Mm. And those who are educated don't always lead successfully lives. It is all decided by chance by being in the right place at the right time. People can never predict when hard times might come, like fish in a net or birds in a trap. People are caught by sudden tragedy. Thoughts on wisdom and folly. Here is another bit of wisdom that has impressed me as I have watched the way our world works. There was a small town with only a few people. And a great came, king came with his army and besieged it. A poor wise man knew how to save the town, and so it was rescued. But afterward, no one thought to thank him. So sad. So even though wisdom is better than strength, those who are wise will be despised if they are poor. What they say will not be appreciated for long. Better to hear the quiet words of a wise person than the, than the shouts of a foolish king. Better to have wisdom than weapons of wars, but one sinner can destroy much that is good. As dead flies cause even a bottle of perfume to sting, so a little foolishness spoiled great wisdom and honor. A wise person chooses the right road, a fool takes the wrong one. You can identify faults just by the way they walk down the street. If your boss is angry at you, don't quit. A quit spirit can overcome even great mystic. The ironies of life. There is another evil I have seen under the sun. Kings and rulers make me grave mystic when they gave great authority to foolish people and low possessions to people of proven worth. I have even seen servants riding horseback like princes and princes walking like servants.
When you dug well, you might fall in. When you demolish an old wall, you could be beaten by a stick. <clears throat> when you work in a quarry, stones might fall and crush you. When you chop wood, there is danger with each stroke of your axe. Using a dull axe requires great strength. So sharpen the blade that the value of wisdom it helps you succeed. If a snake bites before you charm it, what's the use of a being snake charmer? Wise words bring approval, but false are destroyed by their own works. Words, I mean. Fall base their thoughts on false, foolish assumptions, so their conclusions will be wicked madness. They cheat their on and on. No one really knows what is going to happen. No one can predict the future. Falls are so exhausted by a little work that they can even find their way home. What sorrow for the land rolled by a servant. The land wall was leather faced in the morning. Happy is the land whose king is a noble leather and whose leather faced at the proper time to gain strength for their works, not to get drunk. Laziness leads to a sagging roof. Edliness leads to a leaky house. A party gives laughter. Wine gives happiness. And money gives everything. None make light of the king even in your thoughts. And don't make fun of the powerful even in your own bedroom. For a little bird might deliver your message and tell them what you said. The uncertain test of life. Send your grain across the seas, and in time, profits will flow back to you. But divide your investment among many places, for you do not know what risk must lie ahead. When clouds are heavy, the rains come down. Whether a tree falls north or south, it stays away where it falls. Farmers who wait it for, for perfect weather never plant. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. Just as you cannot understand the path of the wind or the mystery of a tiny baby growing in its mother womb. So you cannot understand the activity of God who does all things. Plant your seed in the morning and keep busy all afternoon. For you don't know it. Profit will come from one activity or another, or maybe both. Advice for young and old. Light is sweet. How pleasant to see a new day dawning. When people live to be very old, let them rejoice in every day of life. But let them also remember there will be many dark days. Everything still to come is meaningless. Young people, it's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in. But remember that you must give an account to God for everything you do. So refuse to worry and keep your body healthy. But remember that youth with a whole life before you is meaningless. Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your Creator. Honor him in your yacht before you grow old and say, Life is not pleasant anymore. Remember him before the light of the sun, moon, and star is dim to you, to your old eyes, and rain clouds continually darken your sky. Remember him before your leaves. The guards of your house start to tremble and before your shoulders. The strong men stop remember him before your teeth. Your few remaining servants stop grinding and before your eyes, the woman looking through the windows see dimly. Remember him before the door is life, opportunities is closed and the sun of work fades. Now you rise at the first chirping of the birds, but then all their sounds will grow faint. Remember him before you become fair. Fair fall of pulling and worry about danger in the streets. Before your hair turns white 
like an al almond tree in bloom and you drag along with up energy like a drying grasshoppers and a caper berry no longer in spice six wild desire remember him before you near the grave your everlasting home when the mourners will weep at your funeral Yes, remember your Creator now while you're young, before the silver cord of life snaps and the gold bowl is broken. Don't wait until the water jar is smashed at the, spike, the spring and the pulley is bra broken at the wheel. For then in the dust will return to the earth and the spirit will return to God who gave, who gave it. So, that's all the word of God's uh, the death comes to all. Thank you. Bye-bye.